another video of Monica Barnes art. Today, I think I done lost my mind because I have this thing in my head that I want to create. I have these hotel keys. When me and my husband used to travel, we would always stay at these places. This was like in the 90s when they used actual keys. And um, we saved every key from every hotel. And uh, that's a lot of keys, right? And I always said, he always said, what are you saving them for? I said, I don't know, someday I'll do something with them. Well, today's the day, okay? Because I am going to put these on this huge board and make a table. I have no idea why, just something different. So let me get started. Hope you enjoy this. Call me crazy if you will, because right now I think I'm calling myself crazy. And uh, let me get started. I have Gorilla, it's like super glue. It actually dries in seconds. Gorilla super glue, basically. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's a big tube of Gorilla glue that dries in seconds. So I'm definitely going to uh, use this to put my keys down on this wooden board. I have glitter everywhere from a previous video, unfortunately. So it's all over me, it's all over my board. Maybe to add something to the this. I, oh, I'm definitely going to wear gloves. I always wear gloves. No. Uh, glitter is getting in places. I might wear a face mask. I'm not sure, but I can't believe I've had these for, oh my gosh, at least probably 25 years and I'm finally doing something with them. I kept telling him one day I'll do something with them. They're heavy. They're like so friggin' heavy. Like this thing's probably at least five pounds, at least five pounds, probably more than that. Yeah, probably. Okay, here we go. It's a lot of keys. That's why I said I think I done lost my mind. Lots of keys. Lots and lots of keys. I wonder if I'm gonna use them all. I wonder how many it's going to take to actually do this table. I think it'd be cool though, right? It'd be a heavy table, but it will be cool. Just kind of randomly lay them out. Problem is, I don't want to glue them and then them not fit right. Ah, dropping them. Guess it doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna start gluing them. Wish me luck. Here we go. I'm gonna fast forward this for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me for hours, and I'm sure I'll probably be hours. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear a face mask. This shit stinks. I actually didn't have enough keys to finish this project. So what I did was get a tongue depressor and I decided to put a keyhole in the center of the table. I got a cup, tongue depressors, and there's my keyhole. I'm gonna get some markers and make it a little darker and thicker. So anything that you need for your resin painting is actually listed below underneath my description. You can click on the Amazon links and it will take you to anything that you will need for your uh, resin painting. I do get a little credit because I am an Amazon affiliate and it does help my channel. So any supplies you need, please just go under my Amazon. And I hope you learned something from my video today because this was actually a lot of fun making this table. It did take me quite a while to make it, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully you learn a little something from me making it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and ring that bell for notifications on my next video.
Please let me know your thoughts and comments on my table. I really appreciate everybody that taking their time out of their day to leave me a comment. I tried to answer everybody's comment and I actually enjoy that part of it. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Tasia was kind enough to send me these paint markers. I'm going to get gold and I am going to paint the side gold. And hopefully that works. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to clean up the edge a little bit. See? Okay, so this is what I'm going to be doing around the whole thing. I don't think I need these right now. I'll take these off. I'm going to be rolling this around as I paint. These are so convenient because you can get such a clean, straight line. You can use these paint markers for so much stuff. These are amazing. Arteza's the shit, so all their stuff. I went on their Instagram and it's the people make the prettiest things with their markers and paints. You see, that's going to be pretty. It's going to clean up the edge. So I'm going to finish this. Show you when I'm done. After I was done painting the side, I added a coat of resin. 24 hours later, I added another coat. 24 hours after that, even another. So altogether, I have four layers of resin on this table, but now the keys are all smooth, everything's perfect. I love this table. Let me know what you think about my table. Thanks so much for watching.